Abraham Lincoln grew up in very austere circumstances in Kentucky before the family moved to Illinois. Uh, his father was a tyrant and his mother was very weak and ultimately and early in his life died. Today's video is sponsored by the Patriot Gold Group. Trump warned us about this when he was campaigning in Wisconsin and Michigan. Jamie Dimon warned us about it the week before. The key bone of contention between Lincoln and his father is that Lincoln's father was a subsistence farmer who would work the land and basically eat what he grew. And there was no money, it was not commercial. It was just simply a survival mechanism of subsistence farming. And Lincoln realized very early in his life that to escape that, he needed to make money. And his very first job was as a riverboat per, uh, assistant on uh, the Mississippi River. And he loved the idea that he actually was paid cash for his work. And he realized that cash was the way out of the kind of wage subsistence slavery that he'd been living in. And he became committed to the wage system. The Democrats basically didn't believe in that back then. They were, for the most part, from the plantation, uh, still, in, still committed to slavery and committed to ranking people socially and depend the outcome of their lives would depend on that ranking. And Lincoln did not like that, in part because he was excluded from it. So when Lincoln went into politics, he did so as a Whig, which was basically the opposition to the Democratic Party. And the Whigs believed that the key thing was commerce and trade and opposed slavery and favored the wage system. Lincoln loved that and became very enamored of it. And as a Whig, battled hard for commerce. And as the proponents of commerce, he was naturally a Republican. People look at the slavery record and the human rights records and they say, oh, how, did, how come Lincoln was a Republican? And the answer was because he basically believed that the key thing was to be able to sell your labor for money and then be able to take that money and spend it any way you wanted, any way you wanted, as opposed to being locked into a rigid caste system based on your skin color or, the, uh, or your background. And that basically stayed with Lincoln his entire life. I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Today's video is sponsored by the Patriot Gold Group. Trump warned us about this when he was campaigning in Wisconsin and Michigan. Jamie Dimon warned us about it the week before. Bidenomics has led to 1970s style inflation or stagflation. That troubled decade was marked by low growth and high inflation, the exact opposite of what we wanted. Stocks were flat for that entire decade, but gold and silver both soared. So take advantage of that and call the Patriot Gold Group. Thanks for watching. The Patriot Gold Group offers no fee for life IRAs to viewers of these video. The IRA minimums are $25,000 and $100,000 for the no fee for life IRA. So call the Patriot Gold Group and ask for the no fee for life IRA.